So summarizing um, uh, so far, we've talked about diarrhea, talked about malnutrition. So then what do you do when someone comes to you in clinic? I, we've talked about how you give ORS, so oral rehydration solution. So I'm gonna show you a couple of sides of the power of ORS. So this is a child extremely dehydrated. You can see there's a little bit of um, uh, 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 dipping in the anterior fontanelle. It's unable to nurse, unable um, to drink. So they start giving um, ORS by mouth. So that was, the early slide was nine. So this is 15 minutes later. There, this is 10, this is noon. And now the child is feeling better, is able to nurse. Um, so this is so one of the big reasons why um, the thought was there's decreased mortality due to diarrhea now. ORS works on the basis of sodium glucose co-transport. So it says the same villi that we talked about. And if you zoom into on the cellular level, um, um, this is the lumen of the gut and this over here is blood. And then this SGLT transporter, which binds sodium and glucose together and as it moves the sodium glucose, it creates, it creates an osmotic differential and water follows passively. This is a great reason why you do not want to give things like cold drinks or Sprite or, or juice or Gatorade um, to uh, children for, di for diarrhea because it'll actually make the diarrhea worse because it doesn't have the sodium glucose in that correct um, com uh, um, uh, uh, combination to optimize water absorption. Um, so just to show you uh, what the ORS is and what does it mean. So there's a lot of products available in the market. Currently, what the WHO recommends is the um, ORS um, that was developed in 2002. The biggest difference between the, is the sodium content. So the current ORS has about 75 milliosmoles um, per DL. Pedialyte um, uh, or and the old ORS had, had about 90. And Pedialyte is a common product that's available in the US. And that has, it's hypoosmolar, it's a little bit less. Um, and then if you look at the overall osmolality, the osmolality for the old ORS was 311 and this is 245. And that's why the current ORS is called uh, the reduced osmolality ORS. Um, and that's what it's currently recommended. And, and just, we talked about this in the previous slide a little bit, but talking about um, the, the concept of the lumen where your gut is um, trying to absorb things and all that action is happening in terms of bacteria infection. You don't want to give too much glucose um, so that there's an instead an osmotic penalty in which there's more fluid loss. Um, there, there's some ORSs that have been developed looking at rice starches and things like that as a basis of ORS and it's the same concept. It's how to uh, maximize driving the osmotic differential in this direction so that water follows um, and then you have less fluid loss.